And all right, everybody, I think we can all agree this just needs to stop. What the hell is this? Like a peacock. Whoa. Why? Why so many engines? This thing would never be able to fly in real life. But I mean, this is the simulator. But what is this? Yes, everybody, my friends of totally original content. I have no video ideas anymore, so it's time to, you know, just reuse other videos that already exist on the internet, everybody. The YouTube account of Lee E.I. Airlines. It has been posting every single day about their creations in the X-Plane Flight Simulator. You know you have the plane maker there with which you can experiment a lot. We've done that before. But Lee EI Airlines, you guys just keep sending me his videos. He's just figured it out. But for some reason, this person was able to take the X-Plane aircraft carrier and put it into a plane with engines and a literal look at that bomb. Oh, that is crazy. And there's another plane. How? Where is this? What is this? Surprise Dreamly. And this guy is Chinese, I would guess. Right. What is this? We've. How did he manage to do this? Like a ramp on an aircraft carrier. That is just crazy. And this is a flying wing aircraft. Vertical takeoff lost in engine simulation. Right. Okay. This is nice. Now we've got a VTOL 737. Oh, no. The whole wing has fallen off. All right. That is... That's actually an interesting simulation. You know what? I really have the urge now to ask this guy to send me all his planes so we can actually properly fly them. Okay, this is going to be a crash now. Right, look, how did you even separate that one whole wing? That is crazy. Triple seven with 16 engines fantasy plane. Yeah, obviously. Like, I, I wouldn't imagine this would be very much efficient. Why would you even do this? GE90s are plenty. Oh, the bounce of this landing is also quite a bit unsatisfying. I'll be honest. But nice one. Nice creation. What? You know what? I think this guy should work for Boeing. That, you know, look at the planes he's able to create. Forgot to lower landing the gear. All right. What is this? What is that even? I don't know how the passengers feel on this plane. How did we? How? How did we get here? You know, this flight simulator came out five years ago, the X-Plane flight simulator. Would they have ever imagined that you would be able to build this kind of airport? Like, it's not even crazy planes that he's building. It's also crazy airports. Now, now building this would probably not be very efficient. Um, also, is this, what is this? This is a, a, a triple seven with a Delta wing. Kind of concords. Why? All right. So he's built a bridge runway, literally a runway on a bridge. I want that, by the way, and this is just a normal Concorde. A very hard landing. Concorde landed on bridge. Good. What is this? I want this airport. You know, I'm honest. I think this guy should sell his add-ons right here. We've got a Sky Airport, a flying aircraft carrier, but not only one. We've got a few thousand stuck together. It's not really working very well. I, okay, you know, this is a 737. Reiner flies this plane. No problem at all. Good one. Why, why are all his videos vertical, by the way? That is kind of annoying me. What is it? What? 200? No. What is that? I like how it says here, simulated flight. As in, okay, ah, or, oh yeah, the 777X. Okay. This is a real plane, right? Oh, oh is, are those 200 engines working? That's like the scary part. Oh, they do kind of appear to be. Or maybe, you know, like this plane is absolutely overpowered. Also, I like how the reverse thrust works on every, and that could be a concept for short runways. What the hell? Cargo counterweight problem. Vertical takeoff failed. Now, what is this kind of mating situation? We've got a VTOL takeoff. We've got those weird wings that... Okay, they do kind of would probably serve a purpose for making this plane actually fly straight. And that's it. I don't see a problem at all here. This is totally professional. Good one. Okay. You know who needs this landing gear? Ryan, you know, quite obvious. All right, there we go. That's kind of working. I like how the nose landing gear is actually responding to inputs. That is so ridiculous. Like, it is properly... This is a properly working plane. That's, like, the worst part. Why? Why? Yeah. Good. I've been fiddling a lot with landing gears, apparently. If the tire is easy to burst. Right. Then just add more tires to it. This was actually kind of a thing in India, where Air India added a double landing gear to their A320 series. You know, that was back then where airports and runways in India weren't very in good condition, right? And this is what they did as a countermeasure, and actually it did work very well. So there you go, Eliya, come up with your own ideas. Nothing to see here, but why? I mean, I don't see the point of this one. Maybe, you know, you can fly this plane to unpaved runways. This wouldn't make a lot of sense. Here we go. Take off. Come on. Yeah. Oh, it's not working. It's dead. 
Well, it's got some big wheels, though, to support it. I'm pretty sure it's going to survive that. No problem at all. Yeah, no, yeah. Did he put a car into X-Plane and just put GE90 engines on it and put it on this enormously, ridiculously large ramp? Good. All right, we've got a truck now coming up here. There you go, full power. Looking good. Nothing to see here. Yes, check that out. Rocket airliner failed to take off horizontal. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, I don't know. This, you know, what kind of plane is there that he hasn't done? Right, anyway, this is Frankfurt Airport. This is my local airport. That's kind of weird. Okay, here we go. And that's not going very well. Kind of like reminds me of SpaceX, but now this is a passenger plane. Crash, good. Made a strange runway. No, I want this. How did he even... How did he even do this? Probably in Blender, actually, you know, 3D modeled this. There's like no way your plane's gonna be properly able to take off right here. You're only given half power because you cannot pull here with full power. This is nice to see anyway. Tree. Yeah. Oh, dead. That's absolutely stupid. All right. You know, the English has really on point here. The runway may have been drunk by the modeler. All right. It's the same. We've seen this before. Good one. Oh, that's truly really ridiculous. We got a tank plane now. How was he able to do all this? This is ridiculous. Right, here we go. If the bus can fly, the distance will be very huge. It's a literal Airbus. It is, and this is what an Airbus is now. Everybody, we've got an Airbus for the flight simulator. Isn't that great? It's got a very small engine and very small wing for this to be able to lift off properly. Well, that's the simulation of X-Plane. Good one. I don't know what the use of this is. Well, this is a good representation of the channel. We've got a, we've got a snow plow kind of design. I mean, why not? After opening the speed brakes, the captain was complained again. Ah! That is a, that is a proper speed brake right there. I do not hate this at all. I guess this will be a fast stopper. Gee, <laughs> why? What is that? All right, I've got another Airbus idea. You know what? This, this channel really isn't that stupid after all. Right? Those are some proper concepts. This is very respectable of a channel. I do have to say, Lee EI Airlines, not bad at all. I don't hate this. Absolutely fine. Nothing to see here. Yes. So yes, everybody, that has been Lee I Airlines and probably the most unoriginal video I've ever done, but he just posts some too many stuffs, right? Right, almost 400 videos of weird creations. Great, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.